This is a demonstration video showing how to connect an electric generator to a bicycle. So this is the motor that we're going to turn into our generator on our electric bicycle project. We bought it off eBay. It was originally an electric scooter motor. Looks relatively unused. It was a, it is a three phase electric motor. I know this because there are three main electrical feeds going into it. One, two, three. These connect to a series of coils around the motor and they're energized in phase in sequence to cause the motor to rotate. The controller which controls the phases going into the motor gets a signal from a set of hall probes within the system. That's what this other connector is for. So the controller knows where the magnets are in the motor in relation to the coils. And then it energizes the phases in the correct sequence to cause the rotation and the correct amount of power and speed in the motor. We, however, are just going to use the motor as a generator. So we're going to take the three phases that are going to come out, we're going to rectify them into a single phase, DC, and then we're going to use that and feed that into our household grid system to generate electricity. So this is a circuit diagram of the bridge phase rectifier. This is a three phase, full wave rectifier system. So we use two diodes per wave. This will convert the three phase AC voltage from our generator into an output of DC voltage and DC current. So here's the electric scooter wheel. So we've built a little rig so we can pivot this. Place it in contact with the drive wheel on a bicycle. Hold it there using an elastic strap. Pull up. So when the bicycle drive wheel rotates, it rotates the electric motor. Electric motor, the output, the three phase, goes to a bridge rectifier, three-phase bridge rectifier, which rectifies it into DC electricity. Okay, so let's have a closer look. So here's our bridge rectifier. So we're taking the three phases from the electric motor, generator, we're feeding those in. These are being rectified to DC voltage current on the output side. Right now, the output of the bridge rectifier is connected to the input voltage on a voltmeter. So if I rotate the drive wheel on the bicycle and rotate the motor generator, we should get a DC voltage. And the faster I pedal, 20 volts, 30 volts, 35 volts. So the faster we pedal, the greater the voltage. So we should be able to take this DC voltage, feed it into our solar grid tie inverter, and effectively power or supplement some household appliances. So this is our grid tie inverter. So this will convert the DC voltage from our electric bicycle generator and tie it into our grid voltage. So here goes. So as I pedal away, I generate approximately 35 watts of electricity which I'm feeding into my household grid. I managed to sustain this for around 25 minutes, generating a total amount of energy of around 15 watt hours of energy. Not a great deal, but accumulated over time, maybe this will account for something. So also connected to my grid tie inverter, I have a very modest 200 watt photovoltaic system which generates electricity from sunlight. I have a data logging system hooked up to this and we can see in September when I was using my electric bike generator I managed to generate around 93 watt hours of energy. This is roughly around 2 to 3 percent of what my photovoltaic system is generating per month. So please subscribe, thanks for watching and on your bike!